welcome back to Dinner and a Tip. My name is Brenda and I'm going to be your cooking guide. So with the wind chill, it is 30 below. Yay, Minnesota winter. But we are cooking in a garage, but I do have a smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector going. I also have a fire extinguisher very nearby just in case anything was to happen and you can't see it. But I do have a side door open as well. So you are cooking inside just cook smart. So today we're going to do a Korean sticky chicken and then we're also going to do an egg fried rice um, which is only thing different is regular fried rice we usually have peas and carrots but I don't like them and it's too cold in the store. So let's go ahead and start with our chicken. So I'm going to do it with this chicken garlic sauce. So this is kind of thicker and then we're going to go ahead and do tablespoons of soy sauce and I'm doing one and a half pounds of chicken thighs for this one you know it's my favorite way to cook I've got brown sugar this is three tablespoons you could do light or dark vinegar the rice wine vinegar or you could use just a regular white wine vinegar depends on what you got in in stock and actually we're only going to do one tablespoon of that and then the next thing up is ginger paste. If you have fresh ginger, great, go ahead and use that. But when you're in a bind, sometimes it's nice just to use that ginger paste. I'm gonna do a good old tablespoon of garlic and just gonna give this a quick mix and then we're gonna put our chicken in here. I'm not doing this as a make ahead marinade. I don't think you need to, but if you have the time, it never hurts. So, all right. So I'm just going to go ahead and put all of our chicken in. And I did keep it in, I kind of broke it up in little pieces, but you could do little chunks if you want, but I just want to make sure that I'm getting all of the chicken on here. Make sure it's all coated so it's nicely seasoned. And then we're gonna go ahead and start on our rice. So, give it a quick, quick massage in there. And next, let's go ahead and start with some oil. I am cooking on high today. But if yours cooks really hot, you might wanna do a medium high, so. All right, I'm just gonna give one last chance to get all of our seasonings on our chicken. And our grill is really hot, so carefully place your chicken down. Alright. Now that we've got that going, I'm going to go ahead and just get this spread out a little bit. Give them room to cook up. And when you're cooking the chicken and then you're going to cook something else, always make sure you have a separate utensils for cooking your other items. So this is minute rice. I did one and a half cups of minute rice. Just basically one and a half cups of water, one and a half cups of rice. I'm just going to go ahead and lay that down. Next, I've got some onions. And I'm just going to do a little bit of butter to kind of help soften these guys up. And this is just one medium onion that I'm doing here. And then let's work on our scrambled eggs. So I'm just cooking the rice on here just to kind of warm it back up so I can put everything else in here. Give our chicken a quick flip. Oh, one of my favorite things about cooking any kind of Asian or Korean meals is having that ginger. It always smells so good with the garlic. All right, we've got our onions here. Put those off to the side. I feel like we're We didn't have all of our burners going. Here we go. 
Next up, let's do some scrambled eggs. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of butter for these guys. And I did three. It depends if you like it more eggy or not. So, and go ahead and salt and pepper your eggs. Check on our onions. It really helps when the burners are actually on and cooking. So, all right, scrambled eggs. Here we go. And what I love to add, and I know not everybody does it, but is ginger into our fried rice. It's one of my favorite things. So our onions are getting kind of a clear look to them, which means they are cooking down. And you want to make sure before you put your scrambled eggs into your fried rice that they're cooked all the way. It's hard for them to cook once like they're mixed into everything. So, all right, let's a quick toss here. One thing I like about the chicken thighs, they seem to cook a little faster. They seem to stay a little bit more tender. See, our sticky sauce is doing good. And I just want to give a quick cut on it. So, this is definitely not even close to being done. Basically, any pink in a chicken, if you're new to cooking chicken, is bad, 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 bad. You want it to be all the way wet. So, we're going to keep this cooking and we're going to keep working on our rice. Okay, our eggs are done. So, let's go ahead throw the rest of our butter into our rice. Helps it just crunch it up a little bit. And so I just did three tablespoons total for everything on this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick mix. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our soy sauce. The soy sauce is what actually gives it that brown color, so. And I'm going to start with about a third cup, and this is really going to be to your taste. Actually, I'm going to probably do about a fourth of a cup. So, you just go ahead, add a little by little, get it to the color that you're looking for, the taste that you're looking for. Next up, healthy squeeze of that ginger paste. And this is also to taste. I'm going to go ahead and clean off our fork, throw a little bit of minced garlic. This is also optional, but I think it adds to the flavor. And the other thing I'm going to do is do about a tablespoon or two of that Japanese barbecue sauce. Love that stuff on everything, so it goes great with our egg rice. So this is all cooked, so I'm going to go ahead and shut the burners off on this. I just want to keep this warm while we're working on our chicken. All right. Let's go ahead, flip this chicken one more time, and then we're going to go ahead. And I can see the stickiness coming through on this chicken. This is exactly what we're looking for. And if the sauce is starting to get coated like this, Go ahead and scrape it off, and then just kind of push the chicken off to a different part of the grill so you're not getting anything too bad on there. So, we are still got this cooking. All right. Some of these bigger pieces still need to keep cooking, but I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Let this cook. You can get a good bite off of the end pieces, so let's. Give this a try. And then if you want, you can go ahead and finish this off with some of the green onions. Sesame seeds always are a good option if you like a little extra crunch. So, love the rice. I don't think I've ever been disappointed with the rice. 
And adding the ginger paste and adding a little bit of that barbecue sauce. So good. I love coming up with different ideas of cooking chicken. I think we get stuck in meal, meal jail sometimes where we just keep cooking the same thing over and over again. So thanks for coming. Thanks for subscribing. See you next time. Stay warm.